It was a beautiful day for the UP back on your Tuesday. Good amount of sunshine coming in and temperatures were actually six degrees above normal. You can see the high and the low 48 and 28 and normally we're at 42 and 22. Only 14 degrees off the record from 1997 of 62 degrees and negative five is 1964. So that one's actually 33 degrees off. But looking at that sunset already occurring at 8.25 p.m. And we're continuing to get more and more daylight now as we continue throughout the month of April. But looking at today's highs, about the same as we were seeing yesterday in those upper 40s to low 50s. 52 in Iron Mountain, 48 in Marquette and Munising, all the way down into Manistique, 49 in Escanaba. And going towards the west, 47 in Houghton and on to Noggin. We're going to let those good times roll going into tomorrow. The only difference though, we are going to increase a bit more of that cloud cover as we deal with the disturbance that's pretty much going to bombard parts of lower Michigan. And I'll explain a little bit of those details in just a moment. But looking at those winds for today, we have winds mostly coming out of the north, especially towards the western tip of the UP at around 12 miles per hour in Houghton, 7 in Ironwood, making our way towards the east into the central UP, more out of the south in Marquette and Munising between seven to nine miles per hour and relatively lighter as you make your way towards the south. Now going into the next couple of days, first of all for tomorrow, we're just gonna be dealing with mostly cloudy skies and breezy weather associated with that disturbance. But when it comes to the precipitation, rain or snow, we're pretty much gonna be lucky and we're gonna dodge that bullet. It's pretty much gonna be attacking parts of northern lower Michigan with snow and gusty winds. Temperatures for us though are going to begin to soar pretty quickly after that cold air pushes through on Thursday by the time we get towards your Friday with sunshine returning. And we're going to warm up about a good 25 degrees from Thursday to Saturday and even an extra couple more degrees on your Sunday before a cold front comes in on your Monday bringing a couple of rain showers that could linger into parts of your Tuesday. But those temperatures will begin to fall once again. So a bit of a roller coaster when it comes to that thermometer. But when it comes to the actual weather here, relatively quiet, mostly just clouds more than anything is what we're going to receive. Uh, you can see by tomorrow though, the setup will be snow through parts of northern lower Michigan, mixed precipitation to south of Saginaw Bay, accumulations already for parts of the interior of northern lower Michigan, up to eight inches of wet snow. Also the fact that there could be wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. So very dangerous conditions for the next 24 hours for them. Good news though, everyone begins to improve by the time we get towards your Friday. There could still be a little bit of wind left into your Friday, but temperatures will begin to warm up pretty nicely. And then by the time we get towards your Saturday, we'll continue to see beautiful sunshine. Enjoy the outdoors throughout the weekend. And then by Sunday, we'll increase those clouds just a little bit ahead of that rain that we're going to see on your Monday. But overall, beautiful weekend in store for the UP. Tonight though, 27 degrees, mostly cloudy and breezy. So those winds will begin to pick up as that disturbance gets closer towards lower Michigan. Winds out of the north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And since it's a northerly wind, it is going to feel noticeably cooler tomorrow as those temperatures are going to drop about a good 10 degrees from what we were seeing yesterday, today and even yesterday at 40 in Houghton, 42 in Ontonagon, 44 in Crystal Falls in Florence. You can see the mostly cloudy skies, breezy and cooler. We can have wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour, but do exercise caution if you are going to be traveling downstate on your Thursday. You may want to hold that off until your Friday if you can. Sunrise occurs at 720 a.m. Temperatures rising up into those mid to upper 30s and in some areas into those low 40s, but mostly cloudy skies. Eventually seeing an improvement when it comes to that sky cover by the time we get towards tomorrow night as that disturbance begins to push towards parts of the Northeast. Now for the next seven days, you can see that thermometer quickly bounces back from 37 on Thursday to 64 by Sunday. Beautiful skies in between. Then the rain comes in on Monday, but only a 30% chance. And we keep a 20% chance on your Tuesday as we can still have a little bit of moisture left over from that disturbance. But as you can see though, by the time we get towards the work week, temperatures get noticeably cooler. And once again, we're back into those 30s by next Wednesday.